Hi, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. This is going to be your March the 5th until the 12th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. And if you're returning, I'm so glad to have you. So if you guys are interested in a personal reading, the link will be in the description box below. I am doing for the whole month, uh, one question readings are on special for 1111 11, and two question readings are on special for 2222. So feel free to take advantage of that. If you're interested in following me below to the extended, the link will be down below in the description box. We're gonna take a look at your romance angels. We'll clarify those. We're gonna go through Libra dealing with each and all of the signs. And then we're gonna get in with your love reading as this is gonna be a general reading in the extended. We're gonna go and look at you and the person that is on your mind the most. We're gonna see your energies, their energies, where things are going and reveal everything that um, you are not seeing within the relationship. So other than that, if you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to follow me there. The links um, for Instagram and Facebook are below. Everything I post on Instagram automatically goes to Facebook. So for those of you that don't have Instagram, don't worry, you can still participate. Fridays, we do our weekend energy. So we go through each and all of the signs. You can look at it from your point of view as well as your person's. And on Saturdays, we do our free extended giveaways. I am new adding something new. So the first week of every single month, uh, starting April, we're going to give away a whole month of extendeds to the winner. And then for the second, third, and fourth week, the winner will get one extended, that extended that is for the week um, after the um, draw. All right, you guys. So that is all I have for you guys today. I'm going to look at your energies now and see what we can get for you guys for this week. All right. Messages for Libra. Show me what Libra needs to see for this week ahead, please. Six of Cups, the King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Princess of Pentacles. Oh, wow, the Four of Wands as well, I guess. All right. Beautiful energy. Lots of soulmate energy. Looks like divine energy here. Um, so one thing I'm getting instantly is there's somebody that's going to speak up to you. There's somebody that has been holding back, uh, moving very slowly, that is finally about to come in with an offer, finally about to express their feelings for you. We start off with the Six of Cups. There's definitely a strong soulmate energy here. Some of you guys, this is a relationship where, you know, for some of you, this isn't even a relationship yet. But the thing is, the person that you're dealing with has very strong feelings for you, but you're very unaware of this. The thing is, is that I think that your the feelings here, it's almost like a past life connection and it kind of trips this person out. This person has not experienced anything like this before and it really makes them feel vulnerable. It makes them, you know, feel the need to pull back, feel the need to hold back because they're so unsure as to why they're feeling this way. It doesn't, for them, it doesn't make sense. This is somebody who moves very slow when it comes to relationships. This is somebody who, you know, has probably only been in love once before and compared to what the two of you guys have already, it's nothing. So this person is just like, like baffled. They're very baffled. It's almost like they feel like you put a spell on them. They might feel like you hypnotize them. They feel like your love is a drug is what I'm getting. Like they feel like they're drugged when they're around you. Like love drunk is another thing that I'm getting as well. I think that this is a mutual feeling, but I feel like you are, you know, maybe you've experienced this before or you're just more understanding as to what this is, especially because you do watch readings. So I feel like, you know, you could be very spiritual. This could be a very grounded person, um, but this definitely caught this person off guard. They definitely weren't expecting to feel the way that they felt for you here. With this King of Swords, I definitely see that there is some direct communication coming in. This person is going to take action. This person is going to lead um, the way within this uh, relationship, within this connection here. There's a lot of things that they've been holding on to that they're finally ready to speak up about. They're finally ready to say these things here. And, you know, this person is just going to come out and say it. For some of you, this person, you know, is going to say it at a very awkward time. It's going to be unexpected. I think that this person is just going to blow, like, um, blurt it out. It's almost like when they, you know, someone's been holding back something for so long and then at one point they just snap and say everything. You know, sometimes you keep things in throughout all the fights that you've been in in a relationship and then at the end of the relationship you say everything that you were afraid to say because you know that it's done. It's like this person is finally about to say everything that they felt for you since day one um, because they just can't keep it in anymore to the point where it's giving them a little bit of anxiety. Some of you, this person may have even ghosted you because they didn't know, like, what to do and they knew that they were about to express the way that they felt and they just felt like 
it's very very weird it's very very weird i feel like this person might have expressed their feelings to somebody before and been rejected because it's almost like they have a fear they'll run away whenever they have feelings like this person will have fun and this person will you know go out of their way to date people that they don't see a future with just so that they don't have to be vulnerable just so that there's not a chance that they could get hurt they are always interested um in people that are more interested in them than they are within um the person that they're dealing with and i think that you guys think that this is the case with you and this person but it's actually not this person is head over heels and they're about to express the way that they feel here with this knight of pentacles here i feel like it's been a long time coming here some of you, you have two people that are coming towards you here. Somebody that is new in your life that is very action oriented. This person is very straight with you, direct with you about how they feel for you. And they've been like that since day one. And another person that has been very slow to make an offer, but is finally coming around to make an offer. And I feel like because this person was moving so slow, that's why you decided to put yourself out there and find this direct person in the first place. And now that you found this person, this person is speaking up. And I don't think this person has any idea about this other person in your life. But this person, you know, maybe they could, I think that they, there's an energetic shift in the way that you are with them. They can sense that, you know, you're kind of like moving forward. You kind of have, somebody else kind of has your attention. And it's almost like it's now or never and they're finally going to step up here. With this page of pentacles, it definitely looks like you are getting an offer here. There is an offer of love coming in for you. And I see that you, because I'm seeing this more as you, is you're going to be offering somebody something. But I also feel like you have somebody in your life that is very direct. And because they're so direct, you're kind of, you know, interested in that. You really like that. It's very different than what you've been experiencing. And you're kind of wanting to give this person a chance. But there is somebody else that hasn't fully told you how they feel yet. And you would instantly choose this person over the new one. But this person hasn't explained it yet. So you're only giving the person that's really interested a little bit of your, like, your own, you're not matching their offer as much. With the four of wands here, there's definitely a strong connection that you have going on here. A very, um, I'm getting like mirroring energy here. There could also be mirroring between you and a person that you're dealing with here. I feel like there's going to be some celebrations here. Uh, some of you guys that are single are definitely going to be meeting people. There's definitely options surrounding you. And I feel like this is some sort of social event that you may be going to. Some of you, there's a big event in the summer and you're going to end up meeting a soulmate in the summer. I'm getting August. For some of you, this could be August the 2nd, August 11th, that you're going to end up meeting a very strong soulmate in your life here. I feel like, you know, things are, that you're creating a stable foundation. You're creating a stable foundation with something that once wasn't so stable. Those of you guys that are currently in a relationship, it looks like you guys are moving things to the next level because things are just really aligned within this connection. Um, it's almost like since day one, things have just gotten better. There isn't that energy where you're in the honeymoon phase and then things kind of dull down. This person still gets you just as excited as when you first met them and you get this person just as excited as when um, they first met you here. There's definitely this energy of, you know, strong mutual feelings here. It's just that they're only finally now about to be expressed. Some of you were holding back within this connection because this person hadn't expressed anything to you. So because of that, you felt the need to hold back your true feelings. So for some of you, this is um, where it's going to be mutual and you're both expressing feelings around the same time. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's definitely, in the Seven of Pentacles, there's definitely a huge change coming around, a huge turn um, within this connection. The Four of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune came out in um, Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, you may want to check out their reading. Definitely with the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, there is this energy where those relationships that we're getting to all are definitely going to be taking a huge turn. It's almost like you're falling in love again with somebody that you've been with for a very long time. Some of you, this is a marriage where, you know, things are taking a turn and you guys are going to both be putting in a lot more effort into this uh, relationship. Somebody here is realizing the potential within you. And it's not that they didn't realize it before, but I think that they didn't see it as... Um, they see the potential within you, but they didn't see how it would benefit them in a relationship. It's not to say that they're going to be with you because you benefit them, but I think that they might have put you in a friend zone, in a friend category, and now this person is starting to realize the potential of this relationship. There is definitely going to be equal give and take, and you have somebody that wants to, you know, expand this relationship. You have somebody that also wants to go on a vacation with you. This person may decide to take you on a vacation in December here. 
you have somebody that feels very lucky to be with you they feel very lucky to have you in their lives this person feels like you've helped them grow this person help feels like you've shown them you know a new way of life a new way of living this person feels like you know when they're around you it's almost like they feel invincible they feel like they can do the best that they need to do it's almost like you being in this person's life provides them with a little bit of extra motivation it's like they want to do good for you they want to be good for you they want to be something that you can be proud of they want to be somebody that you can be proud of here uh some of you guys definitely have you know fruits of your labor are definitely being um gained now it looks like luck is taking a turn here there's something that you guys have been working on behind the scenes for a very long time that is finally some of you this is a launch here but you're finally seeing the abundance you're finally seeing all of your hard work pay off and it's coming to you with ease some of you this is a new um it could be a new niche that you started here but it looks like you're finally mastering it it looks like you went from you know the page where you're just learning to being the master of it here and things are definitely taking a turn. I see abundance and a lot of money coming in for you guys here. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Libra. Oh, sorry, Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups for Libra. Yeah, your ships are coming in. Some of you, this is a reconciliation that you've been waiting on for a while now, and it's going to be coming into you. Clarify the King of Swords. Justice. Yeah, things are going to be balanced out here. There's an energy where, you know, I feel like you've already expressed your feelings to this person. Or it's pretty obvious how you feel, but this is somebody who definitely wasn't being direct and they're finally about to be direct and you're going to be so happy here. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Ooh. With the Nine of Swords here, yeah. This person was holding back because they felt very anxious. They felt very anxious and oh, I'm getting naked you make this person feel naked this is somebody that when you look at them they feel like you can see right through them and they feel very vulnerable around you but this is somebody that you know this person thinks of you a lot a lot a lot a lot this person constantly thinks of you and i think that they think about you too much because it makes them anxious and it makes them a little bit fearful i feel like this person in some way or another feels like they're not good enough for you they feel like you I think because you they think that you can see right through them you know all their insecurities is what they see that you see like they just feel super insecure when you're around they feel like you can see all of the bad within them and they just feel completely exposed and this isn't somebody that you know usually likes to express the way that they feel if they're going through things they like to you know deal with it on their own they're very you know to themselves they really keep to themselves but around you it's really not like that. And I think that you're actually making this person realize certain things within themselves. Like you help this person to see their shadow side. You help this person to see things that they try to ignore. And they can't ignore things when they're around you. They're learning to embrace it instead of to fight it though. Clarify the princess of, or sorry, clarify the princess of pentacles. With the two of cups here. Yeah, there's an offer coming in. And it is definitely a mutual connection here. Some of you, this is somebody that is younger than you. There's definitely this energy where, you know, even though feelings haven't been expressed, um, it looks like they definitely are about to be expressed. But for some of you where the feelings haven't been expressed yet, it it's like there's a, um, there's a silent agreement. There's a silent understanding where you guys just know. You know how you feel, but you don't say it. And you almost are okay with the fact that they haven't really said much because of the fact that you can just kind of feel it here. Um, yeah, this you, the two of you guys could never hide a thing from one another because it's just, you could never lie to each other. The eye contact that you guys have is insane. It is so insane. No wonder why this person feels naked. This is somebody where, I mean, you could just stare in their eyes in complete silence and just, you know, you're not going to feel awkward. You're not going to feel weird. This person feels awkward and a little bit naked, but you just love it. You just embrace it and you just enjoy it. And I think that, you know, all the things that they're worried about you seeing, 
are the things that you actually love about them like you you love those things and it's not that they're bad things it's just that they're things that this person is insecure about and you absolutely love that and I feel like once they you know go with the flow and they allow you know they allow um this to happen and they stop holding back I think they're going to realize that this is an unconditional love some of you you're dealing with somebody that has issues with their mother and because they have issues with their mother, it's really hard for them, especially if this is a masculine energy, it's really hard for them to open up around any females. And it's been like this since they were very young and they're learning with you. They're taking that first step with you. Some of, um, some of you have pushed this person to reconnect and to heal with their mother to, you know, even go back to them and, you know, just say the things that they've kept in as a child throughout the whole relationship that they grew up in. I'm getting like somebody here had a mother who always chose like um, boyfriends over the kid. The kid was always left alone. Um, this kid felt abandoned by their mother. They felt like if their mother couldn't love them, how could anybody else love them? If their mother will abandon them, everybody else will abandon them. So this person has abandonment issues. Wow, that's probably why I think that this is somebody who tried really hard to perfect themselves to be perfect because they felt like there was somebody in their life that didn't make them feel loved. And they tried to be perfect because they thought like maybe they weren't good enough. So they always had to be good enough. And that's why they feel so anxious and vulnerable when, because they feel like you can see right through them. And they can't put on that, you know, pretend perfect, um, you know, personnel that they always put on around everybody because since day one, this kid always, well, as a kid, this person always felt like they had to, you know, prove themselves always. And they kind of just grew up thinking that that's what they had to do with everybody in their lives. This is like really deep, you guys. This is so deep. Wow. Some, Because some of you guys helped this person to realize that that's what it was. You know, whatever it is, whatever the reason they hold back. You guys are helping them to realize that that is such a powerful thing to be able to do for someone like, wow. Yeah, you really make this person nervous, but they have so much love for you. All right, clarify the four of wands. The Nine of Wands. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are dealing with somebody that had a fear of commitment with the Ten of Cups. But yeah, this is somebody who's cautious and who's afraid of that beautiful spiritual connection that you have with them. It terrifies them. It terrifies them. But at the same time, I'm getting like you kind of make them weak. So they can't fully block you out. They can't fully, you know, it's like they can, they can block out a certain amount of things, but they can't block you out of their life. Like no matter what, like if they were to do that, they would come back to you. Some of you, this is somebody who may block you or who may disappear constantly, but they keep coming back and it's because they can't let go of you. They can't let go of this connection and that's why they're being forced to deal with it. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Cups. So it looks like you're definitely getting an emotional. Um, this is, you know, things changing. You guys expressing your emotions. This is emotional contentment here. And I feel like this is happiness. You know, some of you guys are going to be experiencing, you know, the, the most intense moments with this person throughout the next week. You're going to find them so open, so vulnerable. And you're just going to be feeling, it's almost like pinch me is what I'm getting. Like, you're going to be feeling like you're in a dreamland. You're going to be feeling like this isn't even the person that... Um, that you had met because they're going to open up in such ways that you, you know, you never would have imagined. Beautiful. Some of, some of you, this person, some of you, it's the opposite where you didn't help this person realize, but by being with you, they realized certain things about why they about how they were being closed off and they actually went to their mother to speak about it and their mother ended up teaching them what the problem was and now they're coming to you all right but that is what i have for you guys if you want to follow me to your love reading the link will be in the description box below i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your week and i will see you guys soon take care